Hey Travis here, Steven's Truck Power. Uh, just showing you uh, where we're at on this cat overhaul. Uh, last we videoed this, uh, we were uh, dis discussing whether we were going to completely overhaul it. Um, we found the valve broke on the head and uh, number five cylinder was bad. And so we we are, we are ended up overhauling the whole thing. So we got all the cylinders out now. and. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're cutting this block. Um, as you can see, this is one that has not been done. And it's flat, right? And then we've cut these other ones. We've cut a groove in here, and I'll show you why we're doing that. But um, I don't know if you can see that real good, but there's basically a 30,000th groove cut in that uh, top of that block right there. Um, the reason we do that is the liners sit down in here and they move a little bit. You wouldn't think they do, but they do kind of move. And they wear this right here and it begins to slope off. And so a lot of times you get some cracks like right there. Um, and anyway, it makes it so that they don't sit right. So here's the old liner. We're just gonna slip, sit that in there just to show you how it sits. So you can see it sits right on that lip right there and when everything's on the head's on you know going down the road uh, these do kind of sit here and vibrate and move and uh, they eventually um, make it so it's not flat right there so what we do is we take this tool uh, we'll get mounted up on here and we cut a groove right where that liner sits and we'll cut that down about 29 thousandths, 30 thousandths, and then we put a shim in that. Um, that shim is right here. And here's one that's cut. That shim will go right there and bring that back to where it needs to be so that it's flat and true and the liner sits in there right and uh, this overall will be good for a long time because we don't have any liner issues of the liner getting low and causing head gasket problems or anything like that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut this one for you and show you what we do. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the tool put up on there and we'll uh, get cutting. Okay, so we got our tool mounted. Uh, this is a cutter, universal cutter. Um, you can actually change the heads to cut different uh, models. Uh, this is the cat head. Uh, they do Cummins, Detroit, whatever. But anyway, we got the tool up here centered um, and getting ready to cut. And it's all manual cut. You turn it by hand. Um, and I won't take a ton of time explaining how the tool works, but there's a knife on this cutting head right here. Um, I don't know if, you can, if I can bring it around and you can see it. Somewhere about right there. So that's the knife. And that cuts the block um, so we'll just turn it by hand uh, this these collars each one of these little lines on these collars are really hard to see but each line is a thousandth of an inch and I'm not going to trust the tool obviously to just know that but uh, it's a good gauge so we'll cut a couple thousandths at a time and then we'll check it with the dial indicator and see where we're at um, so as I move this collar you know I'll move it two thousandths then we'll cut two thousandths. Uh, you know, we'll show you how it works. Um, didn't show you the whole thing um, because it takes a long time to cut a block. You think I'm boring now? You gotta watch the whole thing. So we're just gonna cut one hole for you. Um, show you what we've been doing all day today. So here we go. I've moved this my two thousandths. Spin it around to quit cutting. And then you can see right there we've started. We started to cut that groove, so that's two thousandths of an inch cut out of that. We'll go a couple more and then we'll measure and see, make sure we're staying where we're at. Um, I did forget to say, so the, the, pe the filings from this are falling down into a cup in the, in the bottom. Uh, we've also wrapped the crank uh, with rags and tape and then any of these other filings that are out here on the side are into bolt holes um, 
and we'll vacuum those out also so it'll be nice and clean when we're done so I've moved two thousandths I'll get my light out here so I can see we'll move two more so there's one two lock that down Now, we'll measure it real quick, see where we're at. Um, what's gonna be interesting to show you is, so I've taken four thousandths on the tool, but there's gonna be more than that when I measure it because of how this originally sloped off like this. So it was actually lower to begin with. Um, so we're gonna square, we'll be squaring that up right now. So let me get my dial indicator here. Get it, I'll get it set up and then I'll grab the camera here. Okay. You know, it's gonna be almost impossible to see here. Yeah, not good at running the light. But anyway, we zero it here on the deck. You can see it's right here on the deck of the block. And then we'll just move it over into that groove. And we are pretty much six thousandths, so, well, seven thousandths. So uh, I've cut four, but we were already uh, low three. So now we're at seven thousandths depth. So that's what we'll use as our gauge. And we'll just go to 29-ish and uh, we'll be done. So we'll cut a couple more for you to show you. Well, there's two more. And the reason we do two at a time is it'll actually cut more than that, but it starts to chatter and then it doesn't go smooth. So we want a smooth cut, so we're just doing two thousandths of time so it doesn't try and take too much material at once. We'll go two more. measure this again just to make sure we're staying where we think we are because pretty much once you start this you're committed but you definitely don't want to go too far so let's just gauge zero it again and then I'll That's our zero spot right there. Zero, coming back to zero. We'll move it over into the part we've cut. Now we're almost to 10. We're about nine thousandths uh, depth. So we've cut nine out of the block. Uh, so we've got 20 thousandths more to go. Uh, so we'll just keep going two at a time. Uh, we start going any more than that, we run into all kinds of trouble. So it was a little, little bit time consuming, but uh, it's got to be right, so uh, we'll go ahead and cut a couple more thousandths out. All 
Okay, so uh, we're on our last cut here. Uh, we got about 28 thousandths cut out of it. Uh, just going to finish this last cut and then we'll measure and see where we're at as far as being close. I'm down to about a half a thousandths right now, so you just want to go a little at a time because, man, you go over, then you're cutting it even deeper and if they don't make shims then you're really in trouble so that should have been our last half a thousandth out get this tool set up here sorry i have to put my flashlight in my mouth so i can see Okay, yeah, that real quick, I'll show you where we're at. So, before I show you the dial indicator, I don't know if you can see, but we got the groove cut here. Uh, so, flat part of the block, and then the groove. Um, we'll just get this light turned off, we might be able to see it slightly better. Not a whole lot. Okay, so, we're zeroed right there as I move the gauge on the top of the block and then we'll just move it over to the edge that we cut right there and we can get in here so zero right here 10 20 30 we're not quite 30 we're sitting about get it back on there I moved it we're sitting about 29 I don't know if you can see that right before 30. So we've cut 29 thousandths out of that. And I think we're going to leave it right there just so we can get these liners up just a little bit higher. But that's it, other than you got to do it to every one. So um, here's another shot of the what we've done. Nice and smooth. Uh, it's a nice true now. So when we put that shim in there, It'll be flat against the block, so that liner has something to sit on and cushion on. Also, for the next round, you know, when it gets overhauled again, uh, they won't have to cut this. Uh, they can just put another shim on it. So, uh, that's why we do it. Um, it could have probably survived without doing shims, um, but it was starting to taper off quite a bit. So, uh, we do the shims. It's going to give it a lot longer life. We're not going to have any head gasket issues. Everything's going to uh, bolt down good. And that's where we're at. So we'll be putting this back together uh, tomorrow. Get going on it again. So we'll finish up the video uh, today with this. With just this segment of cutting the block. And show you exactly what that was. So you knew what we were talking about. And we'll have our whole other video of this overhaul coming up also so we'll put that on a separate uh, video but we just figured we'd do this separate so you can kind of see when someone says you know it doesn't matter if it's a cat cummins or whatever that they had their block cut for shims um, that's what that means and you know you about got to do it if you want the longevity if it didn't have any uh, sloping off or anything like that that we had measured yeah it possibly would have been fine but where we we were down like three thousandths on this right on the edge so definitely need it done uh feel good about you know you know give it back to the customer and know it's going to run a long time so anyway that's it that's cutting the block thanks for watching